how you doing? My name is Ty, aka The Marketing Bully, and I'm gonna give you a five minute rundown on how to make a content strategy. You need to start off by setting your SMART goals, getting very specific about what you want to accomplish, when you want to accomplish it, the resources that you have and the deadlines you're willing to set. And that's kind of like a rundown of what your SMART goals are. The next thing that I want you to do is to create a content map. In creating a content map, you're going to get a chance to see how when you create one piece of content, all the different ways that you're able to expand and use that content. So for example, if you create a blog post, how else can you use it? Can you turn it into a YouTube video? Can you turn it into a podcast episode? Can you create a transcript for that podcast episode to help you with a search engine optimization? Can you take clips of the YouTube video about the blog post and turn it into short clips to upload to Facebook Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Pinterest? Um, can you create pins to go and lead back to that blog post? Can you create Twitter threads about the blog post, right? Creating a content map is going to better help you understand if I create one central piece of content, what are all the other ways that I can reuse this to not only maximize your content's reach, but to reduce how much time you spend actually creating content. The second thing that I want you to keep in mind is that you need to identify what your content pillars are and what your content clusters are. Your content pillars are basically like the central focuses of your brand and what you create content about, what I can absolutely expect from you to create content on no matter what. So my, my personal content pillars are email marketing. Um, I also like to talk about graphic design, building landing pages, um, as well as content strategy, right? So those would be like my four content pillars. But in those content pillars, I have very specific content clusters. The content cl clusters are like the smaller pieces of content that I use that keep me grounded with my pillars. So for example, if one of my content pillars is email marketing, then some of my content clusters would be writing subject lines, writing um, email preview text, creating call to actions, email design, email copywriting, building out email sales funnels, automating email marketing, right? Like that's like seven different things that I can cover and create content on just within that one pillar. So if you create your pillars, First, it'll be 10 times easier for you to create your clusters while also making sure that all of your content remains in sync and relevant to the content map that you create. Once you get through those things, you're ready to start creating a content calendar. Now, you should have a few different content calendars that you manage throughout the year. One, you should have an annual content calendar that goes over what you're going to be talking about during each month. Or if you don't want to assign topics to it on your annual calendar, think about what you want to produce. So for example, you know in one month, you want to heavily focus on video marketing, then dedicate a whole quarter to video marketing um, and really like investing in that, investing in your equipment, investing in an editor, um, and also investing in like your hooks and understanding how to better open your videos, how to get people to sit and watch your entire videos, just to give you an idea. The second type of content calendar that you can have will be a quarterly content calendar. And you can start assigning different topics to the quarter and really figuring out like what is going to be my central pillar or two that I'm going to focus on and what are my clusters going to be within that. Then you'll sit down and create your monthly content calendar. Your monthly content calendar is going to take whatever you set those pillars are and break them down even further to different pieces of content that you can share every single day throughout the month. Now, if you can't commit to sharing content every day, don't commit to it. But if you can commit to sharing content three days a week, then that's what your calendar should reflect. Up to this point, we talked about your SMART goals. We've also talked about content mapping, content pillars, content clusters, and content calendars. Um, the last two things that I really want you to continue to think about and develop on would be content writing and automating your content. Now, when it comes to copywriting, you can copyright all of your content in advance and it doesn't mean that you have to schedule it it just means that you understand your goals um how you want things to be communicated how you want them to be understood and comprehended by the people who are watching it and it'll give you an opportunity to go back and develop it and it can make you feel more confident when you sit down to talk on camera when you get ready to publish a blog post when you get ready to drop a new ebook or a new product or a new service when you're planning ahead and not trying to do many too many things at one time um, the last thing when it comes to automating your content 
if you want to successfully automate your content, it's going to require you to do all the other eight things that I just told you about on top of learning how to use uh, automation software that works best for you. I know that was a lot to go over in this video and I know that you may have a lot of questions. So I actually made a tool that's going to help you do everything that I just went over and I want to take a few minutes to go over it with you. All right, this is my 30 day content marketing planner. It's gonna walk you through everything that you need to do. Here's the table of contents and everything that we go over within the book, including additional resources, um, guided activities, and QR codes resources. Every single pre-made to-do list like this one is gonna have an overview of what to expect within that to-do list. And then I give you guided activities with QR codes that link to additional resources to help you get through them, as well as some activities that have instructions on what to do. There are multiple to-do list within it and journal activities, the content map. There's also um, activity reviews and a section to batch create content. All right. Now, if you enjoyed this rundown of content marketing and you want to learn more, go ahead and go download the planner that I just showed you. It's called a content marketing planner on my website. You can buy it individually or you can download it as a group with my 90-day planner. My 90-day planner goes over business administration, small business finance, as well as small business content marketing. I'll drop a link down in my in the description box as well as um, pin it as the top comment on this video. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop your questions below and um, hit me up anytime. I'll put my email below as well. Have a good day.